Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this one, I'd like to show you finally how to put in that flat roof. So again, uh, the justification for the flat roof is that it provides a nice, uh, strong uh, roof structure in a commercial project like this. And when you're looking at it from the ground level, if you're looking up to the top of the building, all you do see is the top of the parapet wall, and you don't see the roof that's behind that. The intent when we put in the roof on this project is to make sure that the roof is uh, one or two feet below the, the top of the parapet wall. And then we're going to put a little bit of slope in it, just a little bit, maybe about a 12 inch difference between on a couple points in the middle of this roof in order to allow the rain to shed either to those points. So they come into those points and by uh, some sort of internal drainage system, drain the water out or maybe to the, the those points that are going to be elevated so that the water sheds the exterior of the, of the roof into a uh, gutter system and eventually into uh, scuppers and uh, allows the rain to shed to the exterior of the building. <sighs> Enough said. Let's go ahead and do the roof. Let's go to the roof button on the, on the ribbon. And let's pick the level that we want the roof to be on. We want it to be on the roof level. So let's go to yes. And uh, just just for the sake of uh, uh, being able to draw this correctly, I'm going to go to my ground floor plan. I don't have a floor plan for the roof yet, but the ground floor will still serve the same function because I can still uh, you know select the same parts of the wall that I would do so if I had the roof level uh, already created. So you do want to make sure that you have the pick walls option and the boundary line. It's going to be a little bit easier to do that. Pick walls. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the interior of all the exterior walls. And of course as we go around, oh, uh oh. We were putting a, a, a slope in this thing. So let's do this. We kind of goofed up there. Let's go to, uh, let's cancel that. And yes, we want to cancel it. Let's just talk about this uh, a little bit further. If we go back to the roof uh, button and let's again put that on the roof level. You want to make sure that uh, in Revit you're moving from the left to the right, top to the bottom when you're going through the toolbars. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go in here and uh, select these items that we want when it comes to sketching. But we didn't do anything here with our options bar. What we don't want to do is define the slope. We want to unclick that and we certainly don't want to have an overhang. We want to have uh, the roof just terminate right at the inside of our exterior wall. Now let's choose the roof that we like. A steel truss, insulation on a metal deck, EPDM for the surface of that roof is uh, what we would like. Now we can select our lines. Save yourself a little bit of way of headaches to do this right now. If you try to take the slope out of there later, you have to do that individually, one line segment at a time. Okay, that's all turned out. Let's go to uh, the check mark. Let's go back to our 3D view and take a look at that. And let's go off of realistic and go to hidden line and see that, um, boy, that doesn't look right. Looks like our roof is actually higher than a parapet wall. So let's go to our uh, east elevation or one of our elevations and take a look at that. What we don't have here and what we probably should have are two different uh, or some more levels. The roof level is probably okay, but let's have a, an exterior wall level. Let's go to the control key as we're moving as I click on uh, the line for the one level for the roof level if you press the control key it allows you to, uh, to copy that as you're moving it and let's make this since the roof is 23 feet let's make this 26 feet three feet higher than the other one instead of level five oops we're going to call this uh, exterior walls so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure exterior walls extend above the, the roof level if you have a situation like this, it's always a good idea thinking ahead when you put your elevations into a plan. You want to make sure that you take that little dog leg leader here, this little squiggly line in here. If you click on that, it allows you to move that text around. If you click on that line, it gives you some uh, grips that you can play around with in order to move that text uh, around. It makes it a lot more readable if you do that. So plan ahead when you see something like that. If you want to get those things out of the way now, it's uh, something you don't have to do later. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to keep the roof at the roof level, and then we're going to take our exterior walls and extend them up to our exterior wall level. It looks like 26 feet probably is not going to be enough, so let's make that 27 feet. Move that up just a little bit higher. Okay. Let's go to our ground floor plan. What we're going to be doing is we're going to select on our, all of our exterior walls. If you select on one, right-click. Go to Select All Instances, Visible and View. It's going to select all of our exterior walls. That way we can make all these changes at the same time. Instead of going up to the roof level, we're going to make it go up to the exterior wall level. Go to Apply. Let's go to our 3D view and take a look at that. Looks a lot better. So now it's about two feet below the top of the parapet wall, which is about what we want. 
Last modification. Let's put in those uh, modify sub elements by adding some points. Let's put a point over here. Put a point over here. Escape once. If you click on those points, it gives you the opportunity to select a a height for those points. You want to make sure that when you do put in a height, that you want to put in a height of uh, 12 inches, not 12 feet. Otherwise, it'll kind of look like a pitch roof and. Uh, it could really goof up your roof a little bit, especially a roof like uh, what we're doing. It's anticipated to be a flat roof. So that looks okay. Escape a couple times. And there we go. Now our roof is faceted into these uh, triangles. It goes up uh, to a foot in that uh, position. So if we go to our ground floor, uh, or if we go to our site level, let's put, go ahead and put a, a section in on our site. We already have one, so let's go ahead and move this over and put it right over that peak and just to, to take a look at what that looks like. So we're looking at that later or earlier. So this is one of the points that we put in. It's not quite showing all of it, so let's go ahead and click on that and extend our range a little bit. So you can see the roof kind of peaks out at that point and it goes down towards the edges of the roof uh, along the edges of the interior, the exterior wall. So, that's a roof, that's a flat roof. Appreciate you joining me in this. Please join me for other films.